one for the aircraft. Mm -hmm. yes. If you'd like to continue wearing your mask, please feel free to do so. We do have extras if you would like one. First time it's used your time. All right, so what you just saw was a Delta flight attendant actually coming to tears of joy that Judge Catherine Mazel out of Florida struck down this uh, domestic air travel mask mandate that we had in the U.S. Now, even on planes, at least domestically traveling, you don't have to wear a mask. It's not required. Um, and of course, within minutes after this announcement, after this judge struck down this unconstitutional mandate from the Biden administration, within minutes, you've had Airline companies like Delta, United, etc., all lifting their corporate mask mandates for passengers on flights, which tells you the only reason they were even implementing it, implementing it in the first place is because they were being coerced by the government to do so. Not even the corporate executives and the managerial people at these airlines wanted to do this to their passengers. I mean, that speaks volumes. Oftentimes, corporations don't really care about your freedoms. They'll just go along with the narrative. And we see that so often because of the ESG program put forth by the UN World Economic Forum and some of these globalist groups. And obviously, Black rock and vanguard that all have uh, controlling stakes in so many of these corporations they have a program called esg that they can tell them what to do but for some reason you know that wasn't really working very well i guess on some of these airline companies because right when this was struck down their mask mandates lifted many of them and you know people are really happy about this both left right center you can see this airline attendant coming to f tears of joy you have video after video of passengers breaking out in applause clapping at these announcements yesterday um and you have people both from the left and the right really just happy about this and what does the biden administration do in light of all the elation from people in light of all uh, the jumping for joy and people celebrating you know what could be the end of covid at least covid restrictions and stuff like that um they come along and they decide to try to appeal this court decision this is how much y your your leaders hate you this is how little regard they actually have for what you want right they don't really care about that they okay th a lot of this they'll say is to protect you and of course I mean I don't really have to go on and on at nauseum about the mask situation I don't know if that's still like not allowed here on YouTube so I can't really talk about whether or not they're effective uh, but I can talk about whether or not they're lawful and they're definitely not lawful they violate you know uh, states rights they violate your individual liberty to you know self-expression and it's a little bit shady as well, I would say, you know, when people are covering their faces. I mean, you used to not be able to walk into like a bank with your face covered uh, in, in a mask pre-2020. Um, now you can. And so that's a problem too. And it's just creepy. So this is what we have going on. And of course, there are still restaurants and uh, stuff like that that still make their staff wear these. And I think it's time that that this is completely done with i i mean obviously it's your choice but in the end i think we should strongly discourage this um even if people want to uh, wear their face facial diapers i am uh, opposed to it um and like i'm not even I, i'm opposed i'm in support of people having a choice but in general it's like i disagree with people who do it unless they have like a serious immune problem like immunodeficiency or if you're in a hospital even hospitals like had uh you know mask requirements in operation rooms pre-2020 so like i get that like i'm not gonna get all upset that a hospital might require it in certain rooms and stuff but other than that i don't think it should be a, a thing i definitely think all mandates whether they're corporate whether they're federal whether they're state mandates city ordinances all of it should be scrapped every single one and all corporations should make it the individual choice of each of their 
not only customers, but staff members uh, to wear a mask. And the Biden administration, of course, going against the will of the people in every way, shape, and form on this. And uh, really going against a lawful decision made by this uh, amazing judge, which, by the way, um, she was appointed by Trump in 2020. I actually covered in 2019 and 2020. It was more in 2019 I was covering this. All of the judges that Trump appointed, and I said this is going to come into a huge uh, play. Like This is going to be very relevant in a few years when you have a lot of crazy things going on, especially surrounding the election of 2020. And then uh, into, of course, COVID didn't happen yet. So I didn't like predict COVID, but obviously this is relevant in terms of COVID and the lawfulness of some of these restrictions now. But I, I, I've, I was talking about that back in 2019. I said a lot of these judges that Trump is appointing, this is something that is going to uh, be very important in the future because there were so many. I think he holds the record of the most judges appointed, federal judges, for a sitting president, I'm pretty sure. And I talked about that. And and now that is something, finally, that uh, is very tangible and came uh, into fruition here. And you know what's the funniest thing about this? You have civil rights groups like the Leadership Conference of Civil and Human Rights and the NAACP, Legal Defense and Education Fund, actually opposing Mizell's nom- nomination and speaking about how because she um, is very supportive of individual liberties and she's a federalist uh, or a con- you know federalist constitutionalist, I, I should say, uh, they oppose this. It's very... Mm, it's very, how should I say this, I- ironic that you have civil rights groups opposing um, somebody who is actually holding up individual liberties and civil liberties in public. It's just, it's just like, this is, this is what I'm talking about, guys. It's like, I think it was David Icke that talked about a long time ago. I remember he used to talk about it. Just invert every single institution and what their name is. And that's what they're actually for. So like the World Wildlife Fund, it actually destroys wildlife around the world. Uh, you know, uh, doctors make people sick now. Things like that, right? Um, it, it, it's it's like the total opposite. It's just totally inverted world. That's what we're living in. It's, it's a satanic new world order, right? And... and um, the Bible even says, you know, uh, Lucifer is the controller of this planet and everything's just inverted, you know, at the very top. So that being said, Biden coming and um, opposing this, the administration, they're going to try to appeal this decision. I don't think they'll be successful, but you never know. And uh, I'll continue can you continue to monitor this. Uh, be aware that, you know, next winter and every winter from here on out, you're going to have the threat of your freedoms being taken away because of the latest flu or the latest COVID or whatever they want to say it is, especially in blue states. And this is something we're going to have to fight year after year, similar to some of the propaganda we saw for 20 years regarding the war on terror and the justification to send troops to the Middle East. This is going to be an ongoing fight, but I think the um, uh, the breadth or the gist of it is mainly uh, defeated in the U.S. for now, um, but it could always pop its head back up with, with a new variant or a bad flu that goes around. So you got to be very, very vigilant uh, fighting this in every, in every aspect of our lives uh, until the day we die, uh, probably. So this is going to be an ongoing battle. That's just life. So let me know what you think. Um, like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on BitChute, Odyssey, and Rumble as well, and Twitter and Gab. And if you want to support my work, I have a Patreon. The uh, description below, you can uh, contribute. Any amount helps. One dollar, two dollars, a million dollars. I don't really care. Um, other than that, it's been press. Keep your head up, stay real, and no fear.